Hi, this is Frank Taylor, Nature in Your Backyard, on Saturday, April 26th, if I got the date right. And we're about to witness one of the greatest, one of the most fantastic, one of the most bizarre biological life events in the whole world. We are on the cusp of the 17-year periodical cicada emergence in mass. Pretty soon, in the next month or two, there's going to be millions and millions of cicadas coming out all at one time. And let me tell you how this story started for me. It didn't start by a report on the internet. It started with one of my, I'll call them my, one of my students that watch my blog. He's a young man by the name of Carter. And he's been doing exactly what I've been inviting everyone to do. Don't just watch my video. Go outside and look and see what you can find. And then ask questions and show it to your parents or look it up online or, or email me. So his mom sent me these pictures. And she said, Frank, she said, Carter's been asking me about this. He found these holes in the ground. And they seem to be like mud tubes. And she said that some of them were capped. And I thought, well, that's really unusual. And so I started looking around and uh, I looked up stuff on Google. I'd never heard of this. And the only thing I thought was maybe it's a burrowing crayfish because there are some crayfish species that burrow into the ground away from a pond or stream, go down to the water table and uh, live in the water during the day at the bottom of their tube and then come out at night and forage. <clears throat> but the pictures of what he saw didn't look like anything. And so a couple that, that I could recognize, and I couldn't confirm it, so I just said, I don't know. And I went about my business. Well, yesterday, I'm walking through the woods, and I look down, and what did I find? I found some of these holes, too. And I thought, oh my gosh, this looks just like what Carter was telling me. Do I have crayfish here? And I looked at them and I investigated and I looked around. I posted on Facebook my pictures and said, hey, can you help me out? And somebody did help me out and told me what they were. And I was like, nah, that can't be that. And so I sent my pictures to Eric Day, who runs the identification lab at Virginia Tech and for the Cooperative Extension Service. And he wrote me back and said, yeah, Frank, those are cicadas. Southwest Virginia is going to have an emergence this spring of the 17-year cicada. And those, are, those holes are made by the cicadas. So I'm going to take you out now and show you what you can find. And I really, really want you to go look around your house, in your yard, under trees, in a, a foresty area. Apparently, pine trees like these is a really good place, and that's, and that's where I found them. So I'm going to put together some video clips of me walking out in the woods and show you what to look for. I want you to go out and see if you can find them, see if they're getting ready. But here's the incredible part. They're making these burrows. They've been in the ground for 17 years. They haven't seen the sun. They haven't seen the light of day. And they've been feeding on plant roots and sucking the sap out of tree roots to get their nutrition to grow all this time. They're expert burrowers. And they're building these amazing tunnels right now, secretly, quietly. And then whenever they can, they're capping them off so we can't find them. And they're all waiting and getting ready right now. Millions and millions of cicada larvae are underground in some kind of grand scheme, some grand coordination to come out all at the same time. And what Eric Day told me was, when the temperature of the soil eight inches deep gets to 64 degrees, they're gonna come out all at once. So it's so exciting to me to know that the coordination here, these guys that um, were an egg 17 years ago, and this is going to be their big moment to emerge as adults. And they all are planning to come out together. And they're digging their burrows now. But some of these might not come out of the burrows for another month. It might be mid-May before these come out. So uh, watch my next um, 
clips where I'll show you how to find them and how I found them and what I saw. Because I'm learning about this right now, too. I don't... 17 years ago, I don't know where I was. I don't remember 17 year cicadas. I don't know what their burrows look like. So I'm figuring this out along with you. And we're gonna watch this together as it evolves. And here is, oh, I wanted to show you. And, and again, I wanted to show you how round that opening is, how smooth. You see, it's almost like the inside of this hole has been plastered by a little mini plasterer where you use very fine sediments, very fine sand. And if you take a piece of this off, you can see that it's like welded together. And that's a telltale sign that this hole was made by cicadas. You see the outside has a lot of vegetation in it and he was digging soil out and packing it in just like a, a craftsman here uh, with the plaster. And all around the sides of this hole are carefully prepared. So he is getting ready for that opportunity to uh, leave. And they're all getting ready right now. So some of these holes are capped, and this is what a cap looks like. So here's his hole, some debris falling in there, and here is the cap. And you can see that the cap would stick out of the dirt like this, and look inside. Again, craftsmanship, plasterer, look how perfectly smooth. So he dug his hole and built this cap so that he can, uh, his hole would be covered and he would be, have some level of protection. And then when it was time for all of the cicadas to emerge from their burrows, it would be easy just to break that cap off. So one of the things you wanna look for on the ground is caps like that. And you can see it's made of dirt and he's also got some vegetation in there. So it's cleverly disguised. So they're hard to find right now. And I do think that a lot of these, like this one, was partially dug out by a predator on cicada larva. Uh, probably a small mammal. So we're down here on ground level again. I've been spending a lot of time here on my belly. And here is another cicada tube. And you can see the, how well, I'm just impressed with how perfectly round that is, how well made it is, how it's evenly lined. And I guess if you got 17 years to work on this, uh, you're going to be get pretty good at, at digging and building these tubes. This one doesn't have a cap on it. Um, and I'm wondering if I come back in a few days, if it will be there or if something has already just knocked that cap off. And I thought this might be a really good place to look for um, cicada holes. And so I came down here, and one of the first things I saw was I saw that several of these have been dug out. So some small animals helped me find this location. And then I got down on my knees, and pretty much on my hands and knees and on my belly, and I found this. Look at that mud cap. That is the mud cap of the periodical 17 year cicada. And I'll show you what's inside. So if you take that mud cap, you can open it, and that's the telltale sign that this hole was made by a cicada. And I'm gonna close that back up again. And I'm sure he'll probably come back and repair it later. But I wanted to show you what these mud caps look like. So that's a thing to look for in your yard or in the woods or in a neighborhood or a wooded place near your house. Um, I've understood so far, and like I said, I'm learning this myself, that pine trees are one of the preferred uh, places for them to live. And this is a capped burrow of a 17-year periodical cicada. I'm sitting out here in the rain and I'm getting wet and I think it's time for me to go in. I hope I gave you enough video clips to show you how to find the 17-year 
cicada holes and as they're getting ready to come out i think it's just such an incredible thing they've been in the ground for 17 years and now they're coordinating this emergence they're like ready to digging secret tunnels in mass millions of these guys are digging these tunnels and then putting a, a little cap so when everybody's ready the tunnels are ready and they can all come out at the same time so let's see let's see what what happens here so i want you to go outside see if you can find them look in your yard look under trees look in your neighborhood look in a a local park and see if you can find cicada holes and if you do take a picture of them send it to me post it on my website or on a youtube channel or post it on my facebook and let me know if you found them we can all see where these guys are and where they're coming out so this has been frank taylor with nature in your backyard go outside see what you can discover it's going to be an exciting year we're following springtime and what's emerging and what's coming out and i'm trying to show you things that i find as i go along that i know you can find too so go out and find some cicada holes okay and let me know what you find